My name is Tim Burnett. I'm the Wind Instruments Manager here at Powell Flutes. And I thought I would show you a little bit about piccolos and piccolo hedgerings. People know piccolos are black, but uh, they frequently don't know the wood that it's made out of. Here is a piece of wood uh, that we make our piccolos most of our uh, It's um, African black wood. Latin, it's Alberia melanoxalon, uh, it comes from Africa, it's a rosewood, uh, and it has some very good characteristics for wood, uh, wood instruments. It is dense, it's very stable, and it's somewhat water resistant. So, uh, we buy pieces from dealers in Africa uh, that look like this. It's not terribly expensive wood, it's not particularly threatened, but the high quality uh, pieces are hard to come by. Uh, so where there's a certain amount of loss. And uh, so we, we start with pieces like this. We turn them around immediately into uh, pieces like this to start the seasoning process, which takes several years. Uh, so they're, the pieces are turned around almost immediately as quickly as we can. We bore a small hole through them. And this is the form that the wood uh, dries in the seasons for about uh, three years, minimum of three years. We have some wood that's from the late 60s that's, that's that old, but in general, um, our wood is uh, several years old. Uh, we buy it partly aged in Africa. It's kind of a difficult because it's a long story to explain, but essentially, our wood is dry in a very old age. So after relaxing for a while like this, the next step, step for a piccolo head joint, which is what I will focus on right now, is to put a finished bore in the wood. 